This is a 1984 Mercury TR2 stern drive. Much bigger drive than uh, your MRs or your Alphas. That's a 4 inch sanding disc. Gives you an indication of the size. This particular one has been in salt water continuously since 1984, so it's done a good job. What I've done is grind it back to the aluminium because it was starting to pit a little bit from electrolysis, even though we replace anodes on a regular basis. Particularly here, in this area here near the prop, if a rope entangles around your propeller, the propeller turns and it tends to break that. So what I did is ground the glass, <coughs> ground, pardon me, all the aluminium away. I cut the aluminium that had started to corrode away and moulded the whole catastrophe in epoxy and fibreglass mat. So the whole lower area of the leg is now encapsulated in a sheet of epoxy. No water can get to the aluminium. No oil can get out of the leg into the water. No water can get out of the leg into the oil. Uh, I did a test on this two years ago on a portion of the skeg. Held up intact, that was quite fine. So in another six or eight months, we'll pull her out again. So there's our 1984 TR2 Mercruiser leg. And you can see quite clearly the whole lower unit's been encapsulated in epoxy and glass mat. Two layers of six ounce cloth, four layers of resin, one to start, cloth, one over the cloth, one to seal. So the whole catastrophe is now encapsulated and I believe that's going to help me with electrolysis attack. Till next time, safe boating.